Hi, I'm Adam Tarr, Associate Broker with Citywide Real Estate in Phoenix, Arizona, and this is your market update for the Phoenix metro area with statistics for November. Today is Thursday, December 9th, 2010. This information is gathered from the Cromford Report. And as of the end of last week, the November stats were showing 6,791 recorded sales across all areas and types within the MLS for the month of November. This is up 3.1% from October, and pending sales are also showing a 2.9% increase. This, especially, is a positive sign that demand is slowly but surely recovering from the collapse after the expiration of tax credits back in the spring. Supply was down a very slight 0.4% to 44,941 between November 1st and December 1st. While this isn't a big number, it is a reversal of the large increases we have seen every month since June. Sales pricing has been stable when measured on a price per square foot basis, hovering between $82 and $84 per foot since September 19th. Average pricing in November fell to $158,427, and the median dropped to $150,500. Both are lower than we've seen since April of 2009, but the average size of homes sold last month declined a little, so that will mitigate that decrease to a certain degree. REO monthly sales, meaning foreclosed sales, were up 0.9% compared with October. Short sales and pre-foreclosures were down by 1.4%, and, no, and normal sales increased by a healthy 9.4%. Normal sales are being boosted heavily by the number of fixed-up foreclosure properties being sold back into the market by investors. In other words, fix and flips. All of the previous observations are trivial when you compare them to the dramatic change in foreclosures. There were... 5,891 new notices of trustee sale, which is down 17% from October and is the lowest monthly total since March of 2008, over two and a half years ago. There were 2,694 trustee sales, the actual foreclosure sales, which is down 37% from October and is also the lowest monthly total since March of 2008. Part of this is surely due to the, to the suspension of trustee sales by Bank of America and other lenders. But the decrease is bigger than expected. And don't forget, they only suspended sales, not notices. So the drop in notices is definitely something to watch. This may be an indication that the worst is behind us, but we will need to see the trends for the next couple of months to get a clearer picture. So we did see a deterioration in the market, between, market balance between June and September, which has ceased. And there is a very slow but gently accelerating improvement in demand. Pricing recovery will, will lag these indicators, but as long as the Cromford Index and other indices keep rising, this will probably limit any negative price trends to relatively slow changes rather than sharp falls. I hope this information has been a help to you. Again, my name is Adam Tarr, Adam Tarr PC, Citywide Real Estate, Phoenix, Arizona. Have a great day and make it great for others as well.